Hi friends, this is Elise, and I'm going to be walking you through how to find your life group information in CCB. Now, CCB is short for Church Community Builder, and that's just the name of our church-wide database. Now, you may be asking, well, why do I need to find my life group information in CCB? Let me share that with you. CCB is our database that we collect all of our life group signups through. So you will actually be receiving an email from our database for the first three weeks of life group telling you what new members have signed up for your group. You will need to then get in and navigate through CCB to find your people's email address and phone number and all the information that you're going to need, okay? So let's get started. We actually have to start online. Our database is online, which is lovely. Um, I actually took us here to our church website, newlifepetaluma.org, because at the bottom, right over here, is the link to CCB. So if you click on that, it'll take you straight into the database. I would highly recommend that you bookmark this website on your computer, okay? Also, as you can see, this just logged me straight into my account because I have all of my password and information saved on here because I'm in here all the time, as you can imagine. If you do not know your username or password, or it's quite possible you have not yet created one, that's totally fine. Please just get a hold of your mentor or myself, and I will be happy to set you up with um, a username and password to get you in, and then you can customize that to yourself if you'd like. So if you don't, if you cannot actually get into this database, let us know, we'll fix that for you, okay? First thing you need to know is this is the home screen. When you actually log in, this is the screen that you're gonna see. Now, as you see to the left over here, there is a lot of options for us. Again, this is a database, so we, this actually goes past what we use it for <laughs> at this current time. So you probably won't find yourself in all of these um, tabs to the left, that's okay. The ones we're gonna focus on today mainly is groups. So if you click on the groups tab, it says find a group. You can just start typing in, it will be your last name that you will type in to find your group. So let's choose one here. Oh, there you go. If you type in your last name, it comes up. We will click on that. This is what your group will, would look like once I get it um, entered in. <laughs> So this is the home page for your group. Actually, this is the participants page. I'm so sorry. When you log in, it will be on this page. This is the home page for your group, okay? And it shows the leaders um, as long, along with your pastor and your mentor. Um, so it will have the, all the information, the location of your group, the meeting day and time, and a generic um, description will be provided for you, okay? So up here are these tabs. Messages, you won't need that. Calendar, this is where all of your meetings will be scheduled. I will take care of that for you, but if you ever wanted to see what um, what life group meetings were scheduled, or if you wanted to edit one, you're free to do that. This is where you will find your calendared events. I have not put events in yet, but I will do that for you, okay? Files, needs and positions, and even schedules, you won't, we're not gonna use those. That won't, we just don't. But participants will be the one that you will be in the most. This actually will have, once people start signing up, this will be where they are listed for you, okay? So you, we're going to scroll down. You can see the whole list. In order to get people's information, you can put, put your mouse. I haven't clicked anything. If you just scroll your mouse over their name, it will give you a lot of their information. And from there, you can highlight and copy and paste, okay? That's an option. Another option is to actually click on the name and it will take you to their profile, okay? Which there you can just copy the email address. I'm saying copy because um, this database has some sort of glitch in it where when you email straight from the database, it is a, it's kind of a 50-50 chance of whether it actually gets to the person or it just goes straight to their junk mail. Even when we have gone in and said, don't mark this email address as junk, it still happens. And they have their, they, the company is working on it, but they don't have a fix yet. So I always really urge our life group leaders, please go ahead and copy and paste uh, all of uh, your people's email addresses. If that's going to be your main way of communicating is email, which usually that's true for most of us these days. 
then please copy and paste them into your own personal email. So I don't email people out of um, the database. I email out of my Outlook account or out of my Yahoo account, okay? There is that information. I'm so sorry. I am clicking on things I don't want to be clicking on right now. All right, that gives you your group information. If you need to look for a person for any reason, you come over here to the People tab, click on that, and you can start typing in either the first letters of someone's first name, and it, it will give you quite a list as you can see, or you can start typing in their last name. Okay, here we are. And find people that way. If there was someone um, that you connect with in the lobby that you want to sign up for your group or whatever, you'll be able to find um, straight people through this tab. Okay, I believe that's everything you need to know in order to find information for your group. Good luck. If you have any questions, again, please contact your mentor or me. We are more than happy to help. Okay, hope you're having a great day. We'll see you soon.